It is a place where over the decades, sweethearts and others, of course, met for sweet food. You might have heard a downtown Cincinnati tradition transitioned to a new space about a month ago. Michelle Dorward Jones from the Hey Michelle blog thought it would be a good idea to take you beyond the ribbon cutting to see that everything old is new again with Good Eats to boot. This space is home to a diner born in 1956. I'm enjoying it. Chances are you know the name. Maybe you've even been there back in the day or recently. We have a really good breakfast bowl as well. I know, I think I'm gonna try that this time. It's Pancake very, very treat good. one. That sounds really good to me. It's Hathaway's Diner. We don't serve fast food, we serve good food fast. And it's gotten a new lease on life down the hall from where it was in the Carew Tower. The old storefront had windows on the mall, but not to the outside. Once upon a time, blogger Michelle Dorward Jones worked in the building. Hathaway's original spot was our go-to. We yeah. were there at least three times a week. That was our lunch spot. Yeah, so you have a sentimental spot in your heart. Absolutely. In Hathaway's. Yeah. And it's just iconic and wonderful. And then we brought it when they brought it back to this new spot here. It's yeah. a great location. With a view. With now. a view now. Yeah, windows. Yeah. And they still have Geneva. I've been here forever. <laughs> 42 years to be exact. In honor of her serving service, there's even a Geneva burger on the menu. Is it I, a good burger? Yes, it is. <laughs> and people say, what can I have? Usually I'll say, have a Geneva burger. Over the decades, the diner fair has fed everyone from locals to celebs, including Elvis. Now owner Danny Holbrook is proud of the soups he makes and everything else they cook up in the kitchen. He and his wife bought Hathaway's eight years ago, having loved it and the iconic tower it's in a long time. Well, I used to come downtown with my brother-in-law and we would ride the escalators because we were originally from Ashland, Kentucky. We'd never even seen an escalator. So we uh, would ride the escalators and then we would eat at Hathaway's. When the new space became available, they jumped at the opportunity to breathe new life into it and honor the past at the same time. From the throwback chairs to the pictures on the walls. I'm a Cincinnatian at heart through and through and this is what I love. So anything history of Cincinnati or just shouting out how, how great our city is, is exactly what these walls do. To some of the good old eats, Danny's pick? I'm going to still say the apple dumpling. Okay, so so your favorite thing on the menu is still what it was back in the day. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. I still love the apple dumpling. We just added it back. It's all bringing back fans. This couple wanted a tour of Hathaway's new digs. Oh, we love it. I mean, what's not to love? We are way busier than we were, for sure. And I believe that Hathaway's will uh, definitely survive because of this move. Maybe for another 65 years. Yeah, let's hope. He says he thinks Hathaway's founder, Lloyd, would love the new space. It sits in what was the Frisch's big boy store in the Carew Tower. Frisch's left behind a mostly redone space, which made it even more possible for Hathaway's to make the transition.